we'll need to create one last ice tree for the ejection of the cartridges. If we look in our explorer, we now have two ice trees, one working for the tracing effect, one for the muzzle flash. So if I start by creating a new point cloud, new empty point cloud, this time we're going to take advantage of a different emission type. So let me call this the cartridge uh, ejection. All right, and for that, if we have a look under the emission compounds, we have a type called emit from null. And this is actually preferable because we want our particles to emit from a single place on our gun. And if we emit from position, the surface of an object, or sorry, if we emit from surface, the object will actually have a number of places on it from which the shells can eject. And that obviously doesn't work with a gun that has a very specific uh, ejection point for cartridges. So we're going to actually get a null to make this work. And I'm going to just visually change the icon into a, a little set of rings. And we'll call this the uh, cartridge emission. The size is fairly large. I'm going to take that down to about a size of 0.2. And I really just need to get it into position on the gun here. So I can just eyeball this by moving it up into position. close down my ice tree here. I'll focus in on my object and align it. So I need to choose an ejection uh, place for my cartridges. So we're just going to pretend here. There's not really a place where we can eject, but let's just pretend it's this place on the gun right here. So I'm going to go in and uh, let's just go with this for now. I have a feeling that the particles will emit either on their local Y or local X. So I'm going to try and just do a little bit of preventative work here and get it so that uh, I can always align to positive Y or positive X if I need to. So I'm going to parent this to the gun now. Let's move this up a little higher and I'll make this a child of my medium rifle or I'll just get it to follow the, uh, the movement of the entire uh, effect by a pose constraint. In our case, it's probably easier just to take the rifle SRT and make this a child, as the laser blast emission is also a child. So if we move into our ice tree now, I'll grab the uh, cartridge ejection point cloud, I'll move into an ice tree, I'll just refresh so there's nothing there, and create a new simulated ice tree. So we need to pull in our emit from null compound along with our simulate particles node, which I have as a favorite here. And we need to provide a null name for our emission. So I can actually just pull my cartridge emission object into my graph and provide its name to the null emission. We likely want to set up a, an age limit of some sort, but until we figure out where our particles are going to land, uh, namely a ground plane of some kind, uh, we're not going to want to make any sort of guess on age limit until we have that object. Uh, as well as gravity and our add forces compound placed in the scene.